Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this makeup look that I am so obsessed with. It came out so beautiful. <gasps> and I haven't done a cut crease in a minute. I haven't done a cut crease in a minute because I've been kind of like in this like loop of doing like just like very simple like smoky eyes and putting my Ardell wispies. So I've kind of just been sticking to that. But today I jumped out of that and I did this cut crease. And although it looks a little like in your face, it's very simple to do. It's beautiful in person, guys. It's beautiful. By the way, this little piece, this little number right here, it's a brooch. It's like a bow tie brooch hybrid and it looks so beautiful when you just pin it on like plain shirts and plain blouses i'll link it down below in the description box so you can see exactly exactly where this is from and i talk about it later in the video also anyways if you guys are not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and join the fam we got going on here if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and let's jump right into the makeup tutorial so today I just picked out a couple of things. I have a couple of palettes here next to me. So we're gonna kinda see where this one goes. To prep my face today, I'm using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I have never used this primer before, so this is our first time. I normally don't go for mattifying primers because I do have dry skin, but let's see, let's see. Oh, it has that same consistency as the Benefit Professional. Yeah, this is one of those primers but they're like silicone based and you don't really need a whole lot. For foundation today, I'm gonna be mixing these two guys right here. This is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. This is their newest foundation. I use it only once and so far I like it, but I like to mix it with the 120 in Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless because this is a little too yellow orangey on me and this one helps balance it out. But in that foundation cocktail that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> this has argan oil in it and it also has really nice like radiant properties. So it makes your face look a little dewy. A uh, it squirted on me. Ah! Thank you, Josie. So now I have all of those in the back of my hands. I'm just gonna grab this little foundation brush and mix them around. Then I'm gonna blend it all in with my damp beauty sponge. If you guys are new here, I totally recommend this sponge. I talk about it in basically all of my recent videos. This is one of Real Techniques sponges. Um, they normally have like the orange one everywhere, which is like the super popular one. But this one is so good. I love it even more. I'm noticing that it's like a little drying around the nose. I'm wondering if that's the primer or if that's the foundation. But so far, it looks really nice on the skin mixed with the Illuminizer. Because last time I used it, I just mixed it with the 120. I didn't mix it with anything else in addition to that. But it's it blended pretty good. For concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It is a really, really good, affordable, super affordable drugstore concealer. I love, love the way it works. In case you guys are similar to my skin tone, I use this color, Light Ivory. I'm also gonna put some around the nose, on the sides of the mouth, on the chin, and on the forehead. Now I'm gonna blend it all in with this little pointy side of my sponge. It has like a really nice flat side for getting like those corners that are a little hard to get. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and just set the areas that need any sort of powdering because of oils or creasing. And I got hungry, so you know. Before we get started on the eyes, I'm gonna do a little contouring. I got this palette a few days ago this came in my boxy charm random fact i used to work for boxy charm years ago um this is the pure cosmetics sculptor palette and it's a highlighter and contour palette i'm going into this shade right here with my dome brush this is the morphe e34 wow i have so much foundation right where the number is i was like whoa look how pigmented that is and i had to take off so much i had to like beat my brush against the palette 
this would serve for me as a bronzer and contour because it's a little bit warmer but it's the lighter one in the palette i'm like scared to use this one for eyebrows i'm gonna be using my baby i love love the benefit corral pomade it is so good and so long wearing so i'm so happy that i'm using it today because i've not been using it for a couple of days so i'm happy to be back the first color i'm going to use on my eyes is this color right here silk cream this is from the jaclyn and morphe palette i was going to call it the morphe hill palette <laughs> the jaclyn hill and morphe palette i'm going to use that color to kind of blend it into the crease so it's going to be our transition shade i'm going to go into these colors right here this is Butter and Pooter, and they are gonna go over that transition shade. I'm gonna start by working that shade into the outer portion of my eyelid, and then I'm gonna go lightly blending it out over my transition shade. This is gonna give that transition area more depth and add a little bit more color. Now I'm gonna go into this color Mocha, and I'm just gonna blend it into the outer portion of my eyelid and of my crease, making sure to tap off the excess. Ugh. What side did I put it on? And then I'm going to start packing it into the outer portion of my eyelid. It's gonna be very light since we tapped off the excess, but that's what we want, cause we're gonna build it. Now, after I feel like I've deposited all the color that's on the brush, I'm gonna grab that brush and lightly start blending it out onto the crease. Now with the same brush that I used for butter and pooter, I'm going to go over that brown very lightly. You wanna maintain a really light hand. And I'm going to make sure that that is all blended out perfectly. Now we're gonna grab this tiny, tiny blending brush and we're gonna go into this darker brown. Now we're really gonna start smoking out the outer portion of the eye. This color brown is the color Central Park. And I'm just gonna start packing it onto the lid, the same exact thing that I did with the previous color and then start blending it toward the crease. We're not gonna bring it up super high, we're just gonna keep it right there where the eyelid meets the rest of the eye <laughs> right there just that crease area so right now this is kind of what the eye should be looking like more or less just a bunch oh my stomach just rumbles <laughs> just a bunch of gradient colors of like different neutrals and browns i love it i love 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 looks like this now on the same brush i'm grabbing just a little bit of that same brown and i'm tapping off the excess and I'm working it toward the front of the eye. I'm going along the crease and lightly blending it out there. Because then right here, we're going to put a really nice shimmery shade. You guys are going to love it. So that's what we want to do now. Just kind of carve that out with our blending brush. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go back into the color Mocha. And I'm going to blend it out into the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm keeping the color really tight and close to my lashes i'm not bringing it down too low now i'm gonna grab some of central park and that i'm gonna keep in the outer corner only if only i had plans tonight <clears throat> i have dog hairs all over my shirt don't mind me because <clears throat> a little while earlier i had to carry my dog because she started crying so i stopped recording and i was like please stop crying i need to finish and now i'm like filled with dog hairs if you guys are dog or cat owners comment down below and let me know if you can relate aren't you always covered in their hair you have to be like with the rolly brush just like taking it all off all the time but like i don't know i'm a little lazy right now i don't know if the camera's capturing it hopefully not now I'm gonna cut my crease with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I know I have not done a cut crease in a long time, but tonight, your girl is feeling like cutting some creases. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do a little cut crease, and then we're gonna pack on a beautiful eyeshadow. Now for my eyelid color, I'm gonna be like this sometime, because if I kinda like look down, it's gonna get a little creasy, and it's not for my eyelid color, I'm going to be using this dose of Color Quad, this Desi and Katie collab. I'm going into this gorgeous, 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 gorgeous green. This is the color, I don't know if it's Harpoon or Turbo Sun. I think it's Harpoon. <gasps> Guys, look. Oh, you can't really tell on the camera. 
Oh my god, that is so pretty. That is so stunning. Wow, it's like a really nice like olivey green with like gold in it. Like it literally looks like this on the eye. You can grab any black shade you have. I'm going into this black shade here in the Jaclyn palette and I'm going to go pressing it into my lash line, basically mimicking like eyeliner, but I want it to be eyeshadow. It's something really quick to do if you never if you don't have time to put eyeliner on to snatch like a little wing or anything like that you know that you can go and do it with some black eyeshadow and it looks just as pretty. So I packed that color on this flat definer brush. This is the Morphe M432. And I am going to just start pressing it right above my lash line. So this is what you want it to look. I basically just lined the entire top portion of my lash line. I didn't wing it out. I didn't do anything like that. I just let it end right there. And now we're going to move on to some lashes. For lashes today, I'm going to be using these guys right here. Guys, I've been dying to use Lily lashes. Like, you have no idea. Hold on, let me... I'm, like, so excited. I can't even open this. I've been dying to use Lily lashes for so long. Look at how gorgeous this is. And this is in their popular style Miami. I don't know if this is, like, the original Miami because this is their Lily lashes for Sephora collection. So I'm not sure. But it is gorgeous, so I'm just happy to get my hands on something, even if it... Oh, look, that's me. To get my hands on something, even if it's, like, similar. Like, those lashes are so pretty. You guys always need to cut and size your lashes, because look at this. This is the original size of the lash. It literally hangs off my eye. That is crazy. While the glue on my falsies are drying, I'm going to use some waterproof eyeliner. And I'm going to put it on my upper and lower waterline. Now I'm going to look down into the mirror. And I'm placing the lashes right on my eye. And then I'm just going to adjust them. Ooh, these lashes are beautiful. Oh my goodness, they are huge. Whoa, and they look so good with this eye look. For highlighter, I'm going into the Nicole Guerrero ABH Glow Kit. Boom. She is beautiful. Bringing her out. I'm going to mix these two shades right here. This is Forever Young and Glow Getter. And I'm going to just start concentrating it on the upper portion of my cheekbones. Now I'm going to put a little bit of blush. This is the Papa Don't Peach Blush gonna kind of stamp it on the cheeks now I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes and on my upper lashes so it could blend in with the falsies I'm using the L'Oreal telescopic mascara it is my absolute favorite mascara I love it for lips I'm gonna use this guy right here which is like the most bizarre thing ever because it's called it's a liquid lipstick but this is not a liquid lipstick this is a lip gloss and it's from the brand Addisey Add, I don't know. I'll put it down below. Add is, I don't, yeah. It's super, super thick though. So keep that in mind. This is the finished look. Mm. Mm. I'm obsessed with the way this came out. Oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Do you guys love it? I'm obsessed with it. I'm feeling myself. I have nowhere to go. Like I legit have no plans, nowhere to go. But I cannot just stay in my house looking like this. I can't. I can't do it. So I'm going to see. I'm going to like wake up my sister because I think she's like napping or editing or something. I'm going to like wake her up and be like, we got to go put gas. No, no, we got to go put gas because I need to leave this house because my makeup is looking right. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And by the way, I know that I said I was going to mention it. This little number right here, my mommy makes this. This is like a brooch bow tie. You can just pin it on any blouse and it literally like vamps that thing up. Like you can put it on button on button ups. It's my absolute favorite. Like she does some where like the tail is like much longer and it's much fuller. So it just makes the neck look like really like nice. And it, I love it. Like you can put it anywhere. You can put on a blazer. This one is obviously one of the more bigger ones and it looks like really cute on just like this plain shirt and you just like 
pin it right there and it looks really pretty but she does smaller ones she does bigger ones they're like longer or you can like contact her and she can like customize stuff she also does disney ears so if you want to go and look at that i'll put um her etsy shop down below and you can kind of like go and search there i'll also put her instagram down below i would really appreciate it if you went and supported my mama she loves being creative and like making things with her hands and just just show the little lady some love again thank you guys so 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 much for watching this i really appreciate it if you've stuck around this long go ahead in the comment section and leave me a little green hearts we have green emojis, right? Yeah, yeah, we have green emojis. Leave me a little green hearts. Spam me down there with green hearts. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.